Krishnan and you are watching A to Z of stock markets. Today let's look at T for technical analysis. If you are interested in the stock markets, you would have heard a lot by now about how much of research you need to do before buying a company stock. Basically, investment grades like Warren Buffett or Peter Lynch ask you to deep dive into a company's business, understand it thoroughly, look at its balance sheet and P&L account and assess its competitive advantages before taking exposure to a stock. All of this is encompassed within the term fundamentals of a company. However, there is a lot to a company besides its fundamentals too, right? If a company stock was driven only by fundamentals, it would move only once a quarter when a company comes out with a fresh set of numbers. But as we know, stock prices move quite actively intra-month, intra-day and intra-minute too. You have these wild swings happening every minute of the day. So what causes stock prices to move without fundamentals changing too much through the day? This is what technical analysts look at. Technical analysis is the study of a stock's historical price, volume and open interest movements in order to gauge how it may move in future. Technical analysts believe that the markets are pretty smart. So they believe that every bit of relevant information about a stock, be it the company's financials, prospects, external environment, global factors or even policy moves are already embedded into the stock price moves. Therefore, they believe that by analyzing a stock's history, price trading, volumes and so on, they can arrive at a prediction on how it may move in future as well. We need technicals because stock prices are not all about numbers and fundamentals. Human emotions can play a big role in the movement of stock prices from day to day too. For example, a fundamental analyst may think that Gillette India is an excellent stock to own. After all, whatever the economy does or whatever happens to the world in general, men will need to shave every day, right? Therefore, people think that Gillette is a great stock to buy. However, if there is a bear market on, Gillette India stock may fall just as much as its other not so sound peers. Why does this happen? This is because investors who are willing to pay 50 times PE for the Gillette India stock just a few days ago, the moment the market starts falling, they start to lose confidence in their own predictions and may be willing to pay only 40 times. Therefore, though fundamentals give you the impression of precision, that is they put an exact PE to each stock, that PE can keep changing based on human emotions. This is why technical analysis can help you choose the right time to buy a stock and the right time to sell it to. In the 17th and 18th century, when technical analysis first made its debut, people used to actually plot the stock prices or the prices of the commodities that they tracked on graph paper and carry it around with them in order to do their analysis. But with the advent of computers and the enormous multiplication in the computing power of devices, basically all the data has been now stored online and it has become pretty easy for anybody to use basic technical tools in order to predict price trends. Today there is a lot of charting software available to investors and traders which they can readily use in order to use their own technical analysis on stock or commodity price performance. You can even download such software from the stock exchange websites or you can subscribe to some of the charting services that are widely available. If you listen to a technical analyst making predictions, you will hear some colorful terms being used like head and shoulders, double bottoms, homing pigeons, harami patterns and so on. Actually technical analysts use a basic set of tools in order to make their predictions. One is a set of indicators. The indicators can be leading indicators or lagging indicators. Leading indicators are indicators from the charts which can help you identify a trend which is yet to come. Lagging indicators provide confirmation of a trend that is already in place. Apart from this, there can also be trend reversal patterns that can be used to find out whether a stock is going to reverse from its current direction. There are various re reversal patterns that technical analysts use. Patterns like double bottoms, double tops, head and shoulders etc. are usually trend reversal patterns that people use to gauge whether they should reverse their trading positions in a stock. 
Apart from this, there is a whole set of oscillators that people use. You will hear terms like RSI, MACD, Bollinger Bands and so on. These are basically supposed to signal to you whether the stock is in an overbought zone or oversold zone in the market. That is, whether there is too much of buying interest or too much of selling interest in the stock. That too can help you be ahead of the market and take winning positions on your trades. Well, this is not a good versus evil kind of situation. You can use both of them and in fact, using both technicals and fundamentals in combination may lead to the best results on your investing activities. Typically, the thumb rule is that while selecting which stock to buy, fundamentals are a better indicator to tell you which company is worth your investment. When deciding when to buy it, technicals are an excellent way to find out whether you are getting your timing right or wrong.